video and I just wanted to do a really quick video just to show you some of my top favourite Mooncat polishes so far, especially because there is a sale on at the moment so you can get 20% off site wide. So the first polish is Millennia and this one is actually a magnetic but you can also just wear it on its own as a multi-chrome so dual purpose for this one. So I have swatched this on my hand, so I'll show you in a moment. But as you can see there, there is a lot of hollow sparkle as well. So it really catches the light. And then it shifts from like a teal color to purple. And I love wearing this polish even unmagnetized. So here it is on my hand and I don't know if you can see it shifting around there. So it shifts from like a purple and it goes up to a teal, little hint of blue as well and then because it's got the hollow sparkles in there as well those really catch the light in sunshine so I really like this polish and this was a paint for me in three coats but you can also just use it over a black polish so Mooncat I've got Emo for life um, so you can try that and then you only need one coat of the Millennia polish on top. So here's a close up of my thumb and you can see it even just turning around, it just shifts colour. And I absolutely love multi-chrome polishes because they really confuse people. So I just think they're just really cool. They are some of my favourite polishes, I think. And I just wanted to compare it to some swatch sticks. So the swatch stick here on the right is over one coat black by Hollow Taco. So this is a difference. So it does look like a deeper color. So if you want a quicker manicure, you can just do it over a black polish. And on the Mooncat website, it does state this polish is best over a dark base like black. And then I'm also showing it here magnetized in the middle. So you don't have to use the magnet though, but when you do, it makes the outside go like a quite a dark black colour. So it looks more spacey vibes. And then this one here, I've used the magnet in the aura or velvet style, and it really does look pretty as well. So I might try that next actually, because I haven't tried that option. So here we go when you magnetize it, so you get that green purple stripe and it really does shift around as well and on your nail. So it looks really, really pretty. And then I'll see if I can slot in some photos of this one as well, showing you what it looks like on my hand, fully magnetized. So yes, let me know if you've tried this one and what you think about it. But yeah, I think this is a great polish and multi-purpose as well. So I do like something that you can get three different looks out of. And then the next polish I have is called Sin Eater. And this is what I'm currently wearing on my right hand. And this is such a pretty polish as well. So this one does shift around as well. So in certain lighting, it looks like quite a dark marine color like that. And then in average lighting, it gets a lovely warm shift with a little hint of purple as well. And then in certain lighting, it goes to like an orangey gold, as you can see here. And here it is on my nail. So as you can see at that angle, it's quite dark. And then as you move it out, it gets like a warmer color with a hint of gold. And then as it hits sunlight at certain angles, it looks a little bit more goldy. And what I've done here as well is I've tried it with different coats, but actually I think it's actually fine in two. So these two fingers here are two coats and it does look very similar. The only thing you notice is if you hold up your hand to sunlight, you can sort of see through the two coats a little bit. But if you haven't got much time, just do two coats. And then here it is on my thumb. So yeah, you can see it shifting around a little bit. And it's not a multi-chrome or anything, it's just the shimmer, the way it moves around just changes the colour. And that's what I just love about these sort of polishes. So yeah, so this one is one of my favourites as well. The next one I have is called Mermaid Bait. And this one I wore and I got so many comments on it because once again, I think it was just shifting around quite a lot. And this is a really pretty, very pale, aqua blue sort of colour with a lot of pink shimmer in there and it sort of goes to like a goldy green at some angles as well. I'm trying to see if I can find the right angle to show you but I also have some photos of this one. 
So this is mermaid bait in two coats and I've got it on the swatch stick and I'll try and insert some pictures of me wearing it as well just so you can get an idea of what it's like. But it is a really shifty polish and yes, I got so many positive comments on this one that I would recommend it. And it's perfect for this time of year as well because it's so bright and cheerful. The next polish I have is called Heart of Stone and I have worn this one a few times now. Now this one is a multi-chrome and it shifts from like a stone colour, like a grey stone colour to pink. So when you're indoors it looks like a pink polish and then when it hits sunshine it just sparkles away so it's really really pretty. And this is what this one looks like on the swatch stick. So once again, if I can find some photos of it, I will insert those. But this one is a good one. So if you've got like an office job or something, and you're not allowed to wear something that's too in your face, you could wear this because it just looks like a pink polish. And then when you go outside, it will start sparkling away. Just trying to see if I can show you the shift there so that sort of like looks like a grey stone colour and then it goes all the way to pink. So yeah I'd recommend this one as well. The next polish I'd recommend is called Pomegranate Seeds and I'm surprised I don't have more purples in here because I'm a massive purple fan but this one is a purple polish and then it's got lots of flakies in there which are predominantly pink and then they also shift to like a greenish turquoise colour too. Let me see if it shows more on the back of the bottle there. So yeah, you can see them there a little bit. But yeah, this is a lovely polish. And this is what it looks like on the swatch stick. So very pretty. And what I'm doing as well is I'm only showing polishes that are readily available at the time of filming. So I'm not including any limited edition polishes because there's just no point because they're not there anymore. So I got this polish opaque in three coats. I just like polishes that shift around and have lots of flakies and some sparkles. The next polish which really surprised me when I swatched it is Poseidon's Prize because this one is a lovely sort of tealy colour but it has lots and lots of reflective glitters in here. Let me see if I can get the right angle to show you. So there's glitters on the side there but this is also a magnetic polish. And when you go to use a magnetic polish, it's really important to shake it first to make sure the magnetic pigment spreads throughout the bottle. But this is how it looks when it's magnetised. So you get a really strong magnetic stripe there and it just makes the edge of the nail go a lot darker. But I think it's the reflective glitters in here that really got me because they really show up. So I got Poseidon's Prize opaque in two coats. And at the top here I use the Aura effect which I really like with this polish and then down below is the Magnetic effect. So yeah it's just a lovely colour and if you haven't got time obviously you can still wear it plain without using the magnet. And the next polish I have is your Hearts of Black Hole and yes this is another magnetic polish but you don't have to use the magnet again. And this one was released the last Lunar Sale so this is quite a new addition to Mooncat. So here it is without the magnet and then when you use the magnet you get the magnetic stripe going through the middle so it makes the outer sections a bit darker. So I got this one opaque in two coats so at the top it's using the magnet with the cat eye effect and then the next one is using the aura or velvet effect which is actually easier to do if you're not really used to magnets. So there's a little bit of sunshine, so I was like, quick, <laughs> let's show them in the sunshine so you can see how much they sparkle. I mean, look at Heart of Stone, that is really sparkly. And even Millennia's got some sparkles in there and Poseidon's Prize as well. So that's what they all look like. So this is Millennia in the sunshine and it tends to go purple at more of a hard angle. But you can see all the hollow sparkles there. And then this is Sinita. It definitely shows up more purple in sunshine as well. So it's a really, really pretty colour. And then I also want to show you what they're like in normal lighting. So I haven't even got a light on. This is just normal daylight that you can see at the moment. So that's Millennia there. And then we have Sinita. So you can see it 
does look more maroon in regular lighting but it definitely picks up the purple in sunshine and then these are all the polishes in normal daylight again so you can see them there in the shade so they're all a little bit darker and then in normal daylight that's what they look like and then my last mention is the Speed Demon top coat and you can see I've got down to half a bottle now this top coat is brilliant it dries so quickly um, yeah it's probably now my favorite top coat at the moment that I've tried so this is something else I would recommend as well and the other thing I'd recommend is sometimes when they get down to quite a low level in the bottle they get a little bit gloopy so you can either use nail polish thinner or what I might do now is I might start my second bottle that I have and then when they get down to a half level I might just mix them together so you don't waste any of it. So these are my favourite polishes at the moment from Mooncat so I will be placing an order because there are a few other polishes that I'm after because I am addicted. So let me know if any of these are your favourite polishes and let me know which ones you would recommend as well. And let me know if you're going to buy anything in the sale too but otherwise thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will catch you on another video.